Welcome back guys. I'm out again today. Solo camp today. I uh, decided I'm either going to go to Llinavan or Llinavan Vach. But I thought on my way over I'd come to somewhere where I haven't been for about 15 years. Um, I come to one of the air crash sites. The um, the Avron Lancaster bomber. It's just off um, off uh, Oh this place gets me every time I come here. Yeah. Just off glass when they fall this, which you can see in the background. And then obviously up there then is the top of the summit where she hit. And um see come down by her. This is the scar. There's quite a bit of uh, the engine block and that's still here. All eight crew died when they crashed here. Quite a few of these when um, I was younger. Around the Brecon. Off the memorial stone behind me. Yeah. Strange old place. If you can call it that. Yeah. I, I talked to a lot of people about it, you know, that I used to go around looking for them. I will say though, leave everything here. Do not take anything as a souvenir because it's a war grave at the end of the day. You know, eight men died for their country. So, yeah. It was um, kitted out for the dam busting um, plot they were going to do, but uh, this actual one got pulled from service uh, just before the other ones that were modified to do it. So, yeah. Quite a bit, yeah. Bits and bobs. I'm not gonna walk over it or start messing. But yeah, it's a pretty big scar. And I was walking over here as well. A lot of the, the grass is burnt. And I was thinking, you can smell the grass burn and I bet um, you know this area would have been completely engulfed plus the smell of diesel and stuff that would have been here yeah. I think it's diesel it was run on yeah but anyway on up to Clinavon uh, Fowler now I think and then uh, Set, set camp up. Yeah. So. Yeah. Bring you back in a bit.
what I was saying earlier. I bet down there when that plane came down. Lancaster. I bet it was all like this. Completely burnt out. And the fuel as well. Here's some of that. One of my other hobbies is I go diving. I haven't been for the last two years though because of Covid. But uh, yeah. I remember I did a uh, submarine dive down in Plymouth called the M2. And before you find it on the sauna, you can see the plumes of diesel coming up. But as you get to her, you can smell the diesel. After all, you know, years, years later. Obviously, you won't smell it down there now. But, uh, I bet that day, you could. I have to check if it was diesel. I know she's a Rolls Royce engine. 27 litre. And it's like three or four engines, I can't remember. Something like that. Yeah. I'm looking uh, around the outside of it. I can't see the cylinder head. I used to be there years ago. I see some scumbag has nicked it. You know, why? Why, why, why? There we are now. Some people can sleep at night with that. No, I certainly couldn't. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now if it wasn't for them. And all the other soldiers in the world. Even though it wasn't combat, it was a training exercise. Still on. Yeah. Whew. Oh, sun. Temperature's dropping. About eight. That's yes at the moment. I think it's gonna to drop to about minus one tonight. Oh yeah. Oh nearly there. I'm getting fitter. <laughs> I'm just gonna sneak his pace. My own pace. Oh I think I'll have a pill by you now. Five minutes. No rush. Coffee time? <laughs> oh, this is tea time. Up here. Look at this stunning place. I haven't seen one tent yet. I think I'm the only one up here. <laughs> oh well. I was open a camp over by here somewhere, but it's pretty uh, scorched, so we'll see them. If not, they may go over there. I don't know yet. I'm gonna have a walk over there now and have a look. Absolutely stunning. I'm renaming that Gary's Mountain. <laughs> One of my work colleagues told me a story that he uh, driving home from work sometime and uh, he drove past it and it was full of snow and his work here decided I'm going to climb that 
And he did. And uh, he was saying uh, he had to punch his hands into the snow <laughs> to get to the top because it was so steep. Yeah. And he was well chuffed and he got to the top, as he would be. You know? Bear, you didn't think that morning that you were going to do that, did you? No, God. Okay. Right. Same for me this morning. I had this planned. I did question myself if I could find that plane again after 15 years. But uh, yeah, I did anyway. <sighs> A nice little pitch now. I love it up here. On my doorstep as well. Why would I want to move anywhere else? Apart from the foothills of the Brecon Beacons. As I say, well showing in when it comes to wild camping. <laughs> Sorry, I'm biased. There we are, I've been sitting here, talking away, thinking I'm recording and I'm not. As I was saying, I'm not the only one yet. I'm not the only fool camping here tonight. There's a guy over there, look. And right over there is where me and Stubbs camped last time. There. I think I'm going to pitch up by you. It's mad. Just new people walking across the ridge and talking. Last time we were here, there was a couple coming down there about 10 o'clock at night. You could see their head torches and they camped over by here somewhere, from what I remember. Yeah, yeah I think I'm going to camp here tonight. Hopefully I don't... Uh, Get press record this time. No choice, eh? Oh. He's got a nice tent over there. Probably can hear me. If I can hear them up there. Yeah, he's looking over. <laughs> he might watch my channel. Go to make him over and say hello. Hmm. <laughs> Not very social, I'll say. Nice, but not social. There's two people up the top. Yeah, right down. Let's get his time lapse on the go. And Scent again, 1100, and Simat technology, it's the X bed. It uh, says it's a 4.8, but it's a 3.7. It is, I think they've uh, corrected that now on their website as well. I think it's got duck down inside it, so see if it's uh, outperforms the uh, thermal rest for me hopefully it does and uh, I got my flannel pillow up there as well um, I come up with an idea this bag comes with the uh, sleeping bag and it's cotton packs are pretty small as well so I sink in stuff all my clothes inside and that's an extra pillow as well and I can sleep on it, or you know, 
and keep the clothes warm as well. Or maybe put a couple of the batteries in and GoPro phone so the frost don't get there. But yeah, this is me for tonight. Gone to the washer. Look at the. I think some paper went in with it. Whoops. Oh, yeah. A nice big pillow, isn't it? I also put this in there as well. Yeah, should have thought of that before, shouldn't I? I like a lot of pillows. What can I say? <laughs> Welcome back. It's freezing. Really cold. Showing about zero. Supposed to get about minus one tonight. For my uh, filtered water. That I filtered earlier from the lake. It did start freezing. Filtered about a litre into this. Well, about 800 ml I think. And uh, yeah, it had a, a layer of ice on it. I just lit this now and it just went Vroom. I was panicking Oh my god I should have remembered to put that on first But yeah, my batteries have died on my phone Some trouble charging I've got the power bank inside my sleeping bag with me And my phone as well So yeah got some food on now Bought one of these, fire pots, chili con carne with rice. Never had one before. So, I'll use what I can out of that water, leave it boiling, and um, replenish my water for tomorrow then. Shouldn't need much for tomorrow. I think I used about a litre of water to get up here. No, a litre and a half actually. No, litre, sorry, litre. It's not bad. I think I covered about six kilometres. That's what my phone was saying anyway. I'll have to convert it. Aye. But it is cold. Trees in. I think I'm gonna have to try and get a fast charging power bank because my phone doesn't like it. My phone wants to be fast charged and it just takes ages. GoPro works alright though. For once. So Yeah. Been a lovely day. I haven't had a beer yet either. back a bit. Oh, see what this is like, Anza? <laughs> Can't see. Not bad. It's all right, Dad. Bloody hell. <laughs> Considering I'm not a lover of rice. Yeah, not bad. I've been stargazing for the last 
half hour. Wow, there's so many stars in the sky, I can't even recognise certain constellations. Uh, I hope I can get my uh, phone now to charge a bit so I can take some time lapses of the stars, hopefully. Anyway, do you want to see me eat this still? Or do you? Who knows? Who knows? Right, that's it for tonight. A lovely night. Oh, as usual. <laughs> yeah. Full belly. The two beers. Lovely. Mm. So I think this ex bed mat is comfy. I've been on it the last hour. I don't feel the cold. I think I found the one. Yep. So, anyway. Catch you tomorrow. Good night. for the sunset. Surprising how light it was before the actual sun came up. The stars last night. Amazing. I think I only had a couple of uh, photos. I didn't get the uh, night time lapses. <coughs> I've had breakfast this morning. There's only boiled legs, nothing to uh, rave about. Pack up now and then head home. Maybe next time we come up here. Maybe we must be up here. Let's see. That's me done. All packed up, squared away. No rubbish. Just ice. <laughs> Head on home now. Do that for next time. Let's go. Another one done. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, like, share and subscribe. And it's free to subscribe for those who don't know. <laughs> Catch you on the next one.